Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. Today I'm going to show you how I got my Jet 16 round column mill drill combo. Uh, got the table level for it, got it back on the table, and uh, got it ready to at least start to get it reassembled. Stick around and check it out.
So as you can see, this thing was not easy to get this where it's at. Um, it's pretty sturdy. As you can see, nothing moving around. Um, just at a bad place in the floor right here, so I had to do something. Um, you guys saw where I was using those round discs. Um, those things are probably about 5 eighths to a half inch thick um, by about 4 inches in diameter. I actually found those at the scrapyard. They're just cutouts from, uh, from somebody doing some kind of CNC plasma. And uh, anyway, I planned on actually welding them to the, the head of the bolts. That way it could spread out the, the weight of this thing on the floor. Um, only problem with that is, as I got to welding, you can see they didn't exactly come out level. Um, so if I welded that to it, it would take something that's not exactly level on a round surface or on a small surface and spread it out to an even bigger surface. So as I tried to crank this thing and, and get it leveled and everything else, I'd end up with a flat disc that's sitting on the ground like this, you know. And we didn't want that or I didn't want that. So what I ended up doing is I put it under the two feet that actually had the uh, had the most run out for uh, for those for you know screwing it out there um, and that'll help spread it out right there I'd really like to get it under these two feet too problem with that is then I have to unscrew the other ones that much further and I'm not exactly sure if I got that much room on those bolts so so I didn't do it um, may check it out later may do it later but uh, for now it's good where it's at I can always do that in the future um, so we've got it in place and the next thing I got to do is actually find the parts, um, or see if I even need it anyway, to uh, to replace the. I'm guessing it's a bearing cover, um, and it's just for the height adjustment to crank this up and down. Uh, don't really need it. It was working just fine. Um, although, you know, I'd like to go ahead and replace it if I can. If it's something easy. If you guys know what it is, um, let me know. If you could point me in the direction. To find some manuals or something on this machine, um, really love to see that too. Uh, I haven't I've looked around and haven't really been able to find much, but I know it's out there. It's just a matter of figuring it out. So, um, so I got a long way to go on this. I do want to get it functioning, and then after that, I think little by little, I'm going to take apart different sections, get it all cleaned up and everything. That way, we can actually that way it can work great as opposed to just work. So. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. If you got any questions, send them my way. Um, if you have any comments on any of the information I've got or how I did this, how I could have done it safer, all that stuff, let me know that too. Um, and you know what? Just as a just as a side note, whenever you guys actually send me a, uh, a message, just or put me a comment or whatever, just uh, tell me where you're from. You know, tell me what state, what city, um, what country even. Um, just like to hear it, you know, I, I know I've seen the analytics on the videos and I know that people are checking things out all around the world, um, but I don't have any specifics and I'd, I'd love to be able to see that. So, so just let me know and uh, we'll go from there. So I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all take care.